Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Violet Hour. I'm Elysium, and we're starting this episode off in kind of a weird place. All right, we've gone back in time with the All Night Mask, and now we're ready to show you what it does. Hello. Yes. Grimgrams! I have things to talk to you about. Oh, Thorpus, did you finish helping father? Then let mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? I would like to hear about the four giants. The four giants, is it? This is quite long, but it is a good story for you to hear. So I'll read it with some extra gusto. Ahem. The Four Giants, this tale from long ago when all the people weren't separated into four worlds like they are now. In those times, all the people lived together and the Four Giants lived among them. On the day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the giants spoke to the people. We have chosen to guard the people while we sleep. A hundred steps north, south, east, and west. If you have need, call us in a loud voice by declaring something, such as a mountain blizzard has trapped us, or the ocean is about to swallow us. Your cries shall carry to us. Now then, there was one who was shocked and saddened by all this. A little imp. The imp was a friend of the giant since before they had created the four worlds. Why must you leave? Why do you not stay? The childhood friend felt neglected, so he spread his anger across the four worlds. Repeatedly, he wronged all people. Overwhelmed with misfortune, the people sang the song of prayers to the giants who lived in each of the four compass directions. The giants heard the cry and responded with a roar. Oh, imp. Oh, imp. We are the protectors of the people. You have caused the people pain. Oh, imp. Leave these four worlds, otherwise we shall tear you down. The imp was frightened and saddened. He had lost his old friends. The imp returned to the heavens, and harmony was restored to the four worlds. And the people rejoiced, and they worshipped the giants of the four worlds like gods, and they lived happily ever after. Good job! Wasn't that fun, Tortoise? What did the people do to call the giants? Sing a song. That's right! But you couldn't just sing that song anywhere. A hundred steps north, a hundred steps south, a hundred steps east, and a hundred steps west. The spot at which those giants parted is right in the middle of this very town. Fascinating. Truly fascinating. Oh, Tortoise, did you finish helping father? Then let mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? The Carnival of Time. The Carnival of Time, is it? The Carnival of Time is almost here. So it's good for you to learn its meaning. It's a little long, but I'll read it with some enthusiasm. Ahem. The Carnival of Time. Each year, the season of harmony begins when the sun and the moon are in alignment, paying homage to the way that both nature and time are tirelessly in the process of progressing. 
The carnival of time is when the people of the four worlds celebrate that harmony and request fruitfulness for the year. For ages, people have worn masks resembling the giants who are the gods of the four worlds. Now, it has become a custom for each person to bring a handmade mask to the carnival of time. It is said that if a couple united on the day of the festival and dedicate a mask as a sign of their union, it would bring luck. The centerpiece of the carnival is the clock tower, and on the eve of all the festivities, the doors to its roof are opened. From atop the clock tower roof, a ceremony to call the gods is held, and an ancient song is sung. All of these festivities for the carnival of time are held so that we may ask the gods for a rich harvest in the years to come. You did a good job. That's all for Tortoise. Now, when does the clock tower roof open? On the eve of the festival. You did a good job remembering. That's the boy I'm proud of. I'll give you some candy as a prize. You got a heart piece. You were praised by the old woman. This was added to your notebook. The fact that my mask didn't freak this little old lady out completely is impressive. So Anjou, is, so Anjou is not done as of yet. There's still more she can, that we can do with her. And the mailman is not done as of yet. And... What is the other thing? All right, we're gonna see if doing the other story brings either new information, no, or if it unlocks the second part of her quest. And if that's all it takes, then we just have one more to do. Good job, wasn't that fun, Tortoise? What did the people do to call the giants? Did that do it? I feel like the answer is no. Yeah, there is more to Grams. To Grims, Grams. But we did double check just to make sure. So we've got Grams halfway completed. But we did need the all night mask, which meant that we did need to do the curiosity, which means that we did need to do the bomb lady, which we did need to do the spider house. All very intricate process to get through that. <laughs> but that is officially going to do it for this episode. I hope that you guys all enjoyed the side quest uh, that I've been doing. And I do believe in the next episode, we're going to put the side quests aside, uh -huh, pun intended, um, so that we can continue to progress the storyline, the main storyline. And we will come back to complete Anjou's, the mailman's, and Grimgram's. But until then, do take care, everyone.